Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on a number of new 20th Century Studios projects coming soon. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So ever since Disney brought 20th Century Fox back in 2019, we've seen Disney moving forward with trying to establish franchises and trying to come up with original films. And um, over the years, we've seen some big successes from 20th Century. But I'd definitely say, you know, in the last year or so, we've kind of seen things pick up a little bit more as Disney refocuses on theatrical releases. We've had lots of success, for example, with Alien Romulus. We also had um, Planet of the Apes. And obviously the big one, the Avatar uh, 2. That was a huge, huge hit. And yeah, one of the biggest films that have ever been released. So that one's been a big one. And now we've got a little bit of an update on what's going to be coming up pretty soon. During a recent interview with 20th Century Studios executive Steve Aspo, he revealed what's going to be coming up over the next few years. One of the projects he confirmed was that there's going to be a brand new Planet of the Apes film coming out in 2027. That was about as much as we got out of him. But the good news is really is that it's going to continue on the story, I think, that we saw in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, because right at the end of there, we saw them coming together with all the humans in sort of secret bases and they reactivated the satellite system so they can communicate with each other. So are we going to see humans taking over from apes? I don't know, it's always kind of like a weird thing with the story um, with them um, of who who you're supposed to team with. But nevertheless, I love that film. I thought it was fantastic. I've always enjoyed the Planet of the Apes franchise. It's been going around for a long time. Great to see the success of the film this summer. It was now mean that we're going to be getting more of it. I suspect they'll probably pull down the, the budget a little bit on that one, try not to go too crazy. But also I suspect with them kind of working out a lot of the technology and stuff for the last film, it will bring those costs down. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with the Planet of the Apes franchise. And obviously you can watch the previous ones on Hulu and Disney Plus now. But also, it was confirmed we're going to be getting a new Alien film. It's going to be a sequel to Alien Romulus. Um, they're still kind of working out the details of when that's going to happen. They've got to get the director signed up for it. They want to bring back for the, who was, did the last one. And it's, again, going to be a, just a straight up continuation with some of the survivors. Now, I've not seen Alien Romulus yet. I've been waiting to watch it. I'm going to try and watch it this weekend. That's out on digital. But yeah, so it's good to know that you know, they're going to see more Alien films. And I'm not really surprised. It's done pretty well. 300 plus million at the box office. More than enough for its uh, budget because it was only about 80 million. Originally it was going to go straight to streaming so it was kind of a cheaper film. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of that moving forward. They're definitely kind of moving back into the idea of putting films out in cinemas. Trying to balance kind of franchises and original films. I think 20th Century Studios are trying to do that. And in the same way really that Pixar and Disney are. They're all trying to get that right thing you know we all like franchises and brands but we also do like new stuff as well but yeah so we are going to be getting a new alien romulus sequel which is great um, i'm shifting on to the predator so it was confirmed earlier this week that uh predator badlands is going to be replacing blade when it drops in cinemas in november of 2025 so this is kind of not necessarily a sequel to prey but it's going to be set um on earth ellie fowling is going to be starring in it we're also going to be having um, uh, the return of Dan, who was the director of Prey. He's going to be doing this one. But also, and this is the interesting thing, he's also directed a secret movie, which is not going to be released theatrically. So therefore, I'm guessing it's going to be a Hulu slash Disney Plus release. It is, they call it a movie. Now, I don't know whether they class that as a short film or something along those lines. It could be. But yeah, there is a secret Predator movie coming out in 2025 and it's going to be coming out before Badlands. No more details on what it's about or anything like that. Um, I'm going to kind of set expectations a little bit lower. That's why I'm kind of saying maybe like a short film or something like that rather than a full-fledged movie. I think putting out two Predator films in one year might be pushing it a little bit, especially like with budgets and stuff. But the fact that Badlands is going to cinemas, I think is a great thing because Prey was fantastic. One of the best original films I think they've released. They knew they left money on the table. They knew they could make some money back with that one. So they're going to be doing that with Badlands. But yeah, a secret mystery Predator film. Um, he also um, talked about the fact that, you know, they might do a Predator versus Alien film, but not necessarily like call it that or do something that they, they kind of, I think, want to put that off for a while. Well, let's be honest, they know they're going to do it at some point. Predator and Alien are at that point now where they can just, you know, they're just going to keep churning these ones out. I think they definitely realise that those are big established franchises, which is what they brought 20th Century for. They wanted to get, you know, stuff for adults. 
And I think those brands are fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I think they're great. Also, it was confirmed that 20th Century Studios is also going to be working on at least three projects from Agatha Christie. Slightly different tone to the Alien and Predator and Planet of the Apes ones, but um, they're working on a number of different projects. He confirmed they're working on Then There Were None, We Have the Witness for the Prosecution, and even doing Miss Marple. Now, I don't know if that's going to be movies. I would expect that's going to be the case because it's a 20th Century Studios executive talking about it. Miss Marple has been featured in films and stuff before. It's kind of a different character to Poirot. Um, doesn't look like maybe then they're going to be carrying on with that character. Maybe they realised after the last three films it wasn't really working so much. Audiences weren't paying much attention. But obviously Agatha Christie stories, they've been adapted many, many times. They work well. They're probably very cheap to make because they don't need to have a lot of special effects or anything like that. But yeah, they're working on multiple projects with that on there. But again, they're all going to be different sets and um, different settings and stuff. So they can spread them out and as I said, they'll be a little bit cheaper and stuff. So whether or not they get theatrical releases or straight to streaming. Who knows? I think that's going to be a key thing there. I'm kind of going now with a guess that most films from Disney will probably get a theatrical release at least in some way first before going straight to streaming. I think we're going to be seeing a lot less of that moving forward. But yep, they're kind of really leaning in on some of their established franchises. Obviously they've got um, Avatar and they are trying to mix it up with original films as well. But yeah, lots of different franchises coming from 20th Century Studios. That should be interesting, interesting to see what they do with all this stuff. Lots of things moving forward. I definitely feel like 20th Century Studios, it's kind of the sort of, something that people don't necessarily think of when they think of Disney, because obviously it's a recent acquisition, but I think it's a great way of just boosting up the cinema, boosting up giving different options and stuff. You throw in search like pictures as well in there, and I think this is a really great move for um, Disney Plus, of just having selections of stuff that, feels fresh and feels a little bit different and it's not all the same but yeah no i, I think this is going to be good more alien more predator more planet of the apes more Anchor for christie yeah what do you think of all this i'd love to hear your thoughts on all that in the comments below go check us out over at what's on at disneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and i shall see you guys soon laters